Hi everybody, welcome back to Cassandra's Plants. Um, today I thought I'd include you guys in a little experiment I'm doing. Um, so I've seen a load of videos on YouTube and information in some plant groups on Facebook um, about using kiki paste or keki paste on um, plants other than orchids. So now this is traditionally used to clone orchids um, and it helps, helps stimulate growth um, on nodes that are dormant. Um, so you might have um, a plant that you can propagate from a node normally in water or in soil or any plant really that has nodes um, and you can put this on it and supposedly it can help stimulate a new growth point. So I'm going to do this on three plants just to see how it goes. Two of them are definitely, I would say, have dormant growth points. So I've got a Ficus um, Elastica Tinky, I've got a Ficus Elastica Robusta and a uh, Syndapsis um, Exotica. So I'll show you more about the points in a minute. So this is the paste itself. Um, this I got from Amazon. It was nine ninety seven, um, which isn't too much, but you do when you get a tiny little pot. Um, I don't think you need to use that much. Um, everybody that I've seen using it applies it with a cotton swab, so or a cotton bud or an earbud or whatever you call them. So um, you're only going to need a little bit. So let me open it, and then I'll run you through each of the node points on each of the plants. Okay. So here it is, I've opened it, and as you can see, it's this vibrant green colour. Um, I'm not exactly sure what's in it. On the instructions, it says it can be used on um, orchid, African violet, hibiscus, rose and other plants. Um, the English on this is pretty shocking if you actually read it, um, which makes me think that it's actually um, a foreign, not sure where from. Um, item as well as the dodgy stick at the bottom but even so it should be fine to use so just to start you off I'm just going to put the lid back on there the two plants that I want this to work on the most is this um, ficus this variegated ficus as you can see it's got some beautiful variegation on the leaves however this was my mum's plant as you would have known in other videos and she had this for about two years and it didn't do anything um, I had it for a couple of weeks and then it put out this tiny little leaf and unfortunately as it was still in the stem and started to come out I managed to break it almost in half which was really annoying um I don't know if you can see but there you go um so yeah that was a bit disappointing and as you can see I think that that's really stunted the growth of the leaf um but at least it's doing something and it isn't completely dormant. I've been watering it like crazy. I've been fertilising it with my favourite fertiliser, which I'm going to show everybody in another video because it is amazing. Um, and transferred it to a terracotta pot because it gets so dry so quickly. As you can see, I only watered this a couple of days ago and it's bone dry. And I know terracotta does help dry stuff out, but it also, because it's porous, it helps hold a bit of the moisture in the terracotta itself without the soil being completely damp, um, which I think has helped a bit, but not much. So as you can see on this, the stem at the bottom is pretty bare and there is a good few sections on it where leaves would have been. So we'll use those as the nodes on this one and we'll put some on there. So I'll hold it up to the camera a bit so you can see. So there's one there um, and one a bit higher up. And then there's one here, but you can also put it on the other side of the stem from where the leaves come out. So where you've actually got a leaf, you could put it on this side. Um, and there's also one right down the bottom. So I'm going to give it a go um, and see what happens. I know from other people that have used it on plants that are not orchids or not ones listed in the instructions, it can take up to four months to have any significant effect because you're actually hoping that the plant is going to put out a new branch, not just a new leaf. So the development of the uh, growth may take a little bit longer. But um, one lady that I saw that did a ficus, she had little 
um, buds or like the signs of new growth within a couple of weeks. So at least if you can see something, that's that's um, better than nothing. So you don't need to use a lot, I don't think. So there you go. You can see the volume that I've got. And I think that maybe will do the whole plant. But I don't mind being quite generous with it because, you know, you want it to work. So literally all I'm going to do is just rub it on the node all the way around. I'll take the excess off because um, I don't want it to damage the plant. Just rub it on, leave it on, see what it does. And then we'll move on to the next one a bit further down. Go. It's quite a delicate process, I guess. So the more delicate you are, the better. Put a little bit more on this bit. And then on the one a little bit further down. So there you go, that's the first FICA star. And as you can see on there, you can see that I've put it on. I know some um, Kiki Pace is a bit more clear, a bit more transparent, but because this is green, you can actually see it, which is quite helpful. So that's the amount that I've put on. Um, I don't really know if that's too much or too little. It looks like quite a lot to me. It's almost got the consistency of like a Vaseline. Um, so there we go. Hopefully that will stay on there. Um, I'm going to make sure when I water it that I don't touch it and hopefully it will stay on there for as long as possible. Um, next, I'll just pop the lid on for a second, put that on there. I'm going to do it on this synapsis. So, just move the cover pot out of the way. So this is one that I've got um, hanging up in my kitchen and as you can see, compared to the ficus, the leaves are huge. That one is almost as big as my hand. Um, and this was one that I bought on Etsy um, probably about six weeks ago now. And it hasn't done anything. It hasn't put out a new leaf. It hasn't... Um, I can't even see. So you can see here that white mark on the stem. Now that looks like it might be the start of a new leaf. The same on this one. Um... But it's not done anything. It's not, I don't know, it's just not doing anything. Um, and then on here, if you can see that, that, so you've got the aerial root node there, you see the little brown thing. And then here, you've got this little lumpy bit. Now that is an auxiliary bud. And that is, if I chopped the uh, stem off, that is where the new growth would start from. And you get these on Monsteras as well. So I'm figuring that will be a good place to put some of this, seeing as it's already got a little nodgly thing on there. Um, I don't know if I've got any more, but all of these little ridges on the plant are nodes. So I'm basically going to put as much on here as I can to try and encourage this to put some leaves out because I want some more huge leaves. So I'm going to change ends of the cotton bud. Um, I don't know whether you have to or not, or whether you can just reuse the same one, but I just, for cleanliness and it's a different species plant and, you know, just to make sure I'm doing the best thing. So here we go. So here's that auxiliary bud. Just pop a little bit on there. I'll pop a little bit up here. On this one um, just go a little bit more um, and then on this one here can I put a little bit on there spread it around a bit and then I'm not gonna put any on this yet is this has still got um, the caterpill attached. Now the caterpill on plants like um, pothos and syndapsis and philodendrons, um, they are the 
bits of the plant that cover the new leaf before they unfurl. So like this one's still quite green as this is obviously the newest leaf, um, but eventually they will fall off as a new leaf grows. As you can see, this one doesn't have one. Um, but because that's still on there, I don't want to put it on yet, just in case, I don't know, the plant needs it or it's not ready. See, that looks like it might be, I don't know if you can see on this one, a new leaf under there. It's quite bobbly, but we'll see. I don't know. Right, I'm going to put it on one more place on this plant, which is here on this side, just to uh, see if that helps any. There we go, it's all pasted up. So that's that one. Let's pop that on there for a second. Right, I'm gonna put this back in its holder. There we go, I'm gonna let that sit in. Now the other ficus I've got is just a normal um, ficus, I say normal, probably the most common ficus that I only got the other day. And now this one has got, move it in the camera a bit, a brand new leaf that's just popped out. See this one's nice and green. Um, its stem is looks like it's okay. It looks like it's growing. It doesn't have any. I haven't damaged it yet, which is a good thing. It's a bit top heavy, however, so it does need pinning. But and there aren't any. I don't think bare nodes on this. All of them have got a leaf. But what I thought I'd try and do as an experiment, seeing as um. The other lady's ficus was so successful is put this on the other side and on some and as i've just noticed on this on her one as well on some of the leaves um there are little buds above them and i'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it it's so huge but i'll try uh, here we go so trying to move this leaf you can see, I don't know if you can see here, but just above that leaf, there is a little red dot. And now that is one of those um, auxiliary buds, like on the syndapsis. So I'm going to put some kiki paste on there and hope that maybe it will branch out a whole new branch. So it will be a multi-branched ficus instead of a single one. So we've got some paste. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. This big leaf, move that the way a bit. So, in between the leaves, where the little buds are, on that side, down the other side. See how it goes, so I'm gonna put it on the top one. And obviously if you put it on the new growth, because it's quite fresh and quite happy and growing still, the chances are that it will be okay. And obviously the woodier the stem, the harder it's gonna be to get something to grow out of it as it's sort of got a bit old and dry. And, um, harder for something new to pop out from, but you never know, we'll see how it goes. So there you go, that's cakey paste on three plants. So, I have, you know, just a safety note, I have no idea what is actually in this. So if you have kids or if you have pets or anything like that, of course, be careful um, using it and make sure you clean everything and wipe everything down. I know that's a given, but, you know, just make sure you're careful um, because I don't know what's in it. Also, um, I don't know if this is actually going to harm the plants. I doubt it. Um, but obviously, fingers crossed it won't. Um, I'll be doing an update video as soon as I know, um, well, or as soon as I see any progress. Hopefully it won't take four months um, to see any progress with these ones, um, fingers crossed. But you never know how long it will take. So just a final view of that one, as I think that's the easiest bit, the Kiki post on the nodes. So, fingers crossed, keep your fingers crossed for me guys, that it works, and um, one last look at the brand so you can buy it yourself, Elite Orchid, on Amazon, there you go. 
as always if you find my videos helpful and you like them give us a like a subscribe a thumbs up a comment whatever you want to do engage um i do try to reply to everybody and um, so if i haven't replied to you yet i will be doing so soon and as always let me know your experience with kiki paste has it been successful to you is there anything i can do differently to get these plants to put out some more leaves to grow um let me know and i'll uh, do an update and speak to you again soon.